viaggiatori che il treno alta velocità 39, 93, 20. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. What you can see is the Bay of Naples, and right on the right-hand side is Vesuvius. And just around the corner, which you can't see, is Positano. Hello, Nicky. I hope you're well, and it's stopped raining. Well, today I'm on, and some of you will know immediately where I am, but I am on the island of Capri. That's right. The most beautiful island in the Mediterranean. And well, I mean, there are some others. <laughs> and we are going to tour, hopefully, a 19th century, a modernized villa, and I'm so excited, later on today. Well, here I am in Capri. We walked up the hill from the piazza and it's about 20 minutes away. And I'm walking up and further up is the house of Tiberius at the top of the hill. And these are the type of properties which I absolutely love finding. It needs some work, uh, but not too much. But, you know, you are dealing with Capri, one of the most expensive pieces of real estate on the planet. You know, prices go here from 10, 15 to 20,000 euros a square meter. <laughs> There's a huge thunderstorm coming. I don't know what it is with thunderstorms at the moment. Huge thunderstorm coming, so we've got to be quick. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. I'm just going to pick up the camera straight away. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so this house was built in... Uh, no, 1905, 1905 by a German man. And that is quite a long time ago. And you have this beautiful walkway. We're just gonna walk up for a bit and then I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm not gonna go all the way to the end. Isn't that just gorgeous? I mean, really, honestly. And as I pan round the corner and we come across over the rooftops, of the other houses of Capri. I am looking directly at Ischia and the small island of Podgita. I don't know if I said that right. I hope I have. Yeah, and then there's basically the Bay of Naples. No, oh, it's just wonderful. Now, this villa has been split into six over the years. Ah, come on, before it starts pouring with rain. I just adore this walkway. There's 200 meters of land um, and there's basically some secret areas where you can sit and look at the view. Now I'm just gonna pull round and show you the house as I pull up. Actually, I'm gonna get over the top. Let's just throw the flowers on Capri. Anybody who's been here is just... The whole place is just enchanting, the whole thing, it really is. Anyway, so you come down and then you turn this corner here. So, well, I'm gonna pull back so you can get the view. There is a ground floor apartment, which is below. And, uh, well, this very nice agent uh, called Augusto, and I will give you uh, further details of him and his agency at the end of the tour. Um, he was so kind, and he has told me that potentially the ground floor apartment is available as well. So maybe we can have a look at that later. I'm not sure whether we've got time to do a video, but you never know. Now, the owners of this house are Italians, and they live in Rome, and this basically um, has been in their family for many, many years and they really do want to sell it. Oh, look at Augusto, he's been so kind. As we come up into the garden area, look, he's actually, Capri is famous for lemons and I'm just going to show you those. 
Those lemons are enormous. They are the size of my fist. Now, I think this house is amazing. If somebody wanted a project on Capri, I mean, this would be it. Look, you've got this beautiful garden. Now, one of the interesting things about this property, um, oh, look, you've got a, a private space back down here. Every inch of land here has a value, as you can imagine, being Capri. But one thing is for sure, is that you do get this phenomenal lemon tree. Can you see the clouds? The storm is coming. Now, as I pull the camera around on your private terrace, looking at Ischia, looking directly line of sight of Ischia, that is west. So you are going to get the most stunning sunsets yeah, anybody who wanted a, a west-facing view, this is it. I mean, look at these three windows. Now, this property is 125 square meters net. So the gross area is an additional 20%. And what I adore about this house, and I've just been inside, is the fact it's got a double reception. I will be giving you the price at the end of the video. Now, being Capri, there are, and especially in this area, there are no roads. You can only walk up here on a tiny track. Oh, <laughs> oh I just think it's beautiful. High ceilings, I'm just gonna pull up. You've got some detailed work on the ceiling itself. Let's see if we can get that in. Yes. Beautiful. I'm going to come around and basically show you from the inside these stunning windows. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, it really is. It's just absolutely beautiful. Your own private spot with a west-facing sunset view. Charming. <laughs> absolutely charming. Right. So coming in through the front door into this first reception room, and then we're moving into the second open reception. And this is just a lovely room. The ceiling height on this, I'm just gonna pull up, it's all white. A lot of the houses in Capri are all white in the interior and that ceiling height must be at least 15, 16 feet high. But again, if I come across, to this large window. There's a plant that probably needs to be just trimmed a little. And then we look out over Ischia and I can see in the distance the other side and the mountain going up over to Anacapri. Yeah. Can you imagine the sunlight streaming through here in a late summer's day? Just wonderful. Really is. It's just a lovely house to entertain as well. Now, this property is about 20 minutes walking from the main piazza. Really nice flooring. I'm going to get over and show you that now. And then they have a fireplace as well. Let's just pop over here. Look at these tiles. Naples in this area are famous for their ceramic tiles. And in my view, 
These are the original tiles of this house and they are just stunning. Look at the detail. Oh, just loving it. It's so difficult to find a property on Capri which hasn't been restored over the years. I mean, yes, there has been some work done over the years here, but you know, these rooms will invariably be cut and changed and turned into separate apartments themselves. Oh, that seems like a very nice book to have a look at. Capri 1939. I bet you there's some beautiful pictures in that. What a lovely fireplace that is. It's got a copper insert. And what lovely pictures of the owners as well. It's a beautiful picture on the left hand side. It's obviously shot in the 70s. Yeah. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Right, I'm just going to pull round and then we're going to walk back into the first reception room and then go through into the corridor and into the bedrooms. There are two and a half bedrooms in this property and there's two bathrooms. Now, I don't know what you want to do. I'm going to show you the kitchen. The kitchen is quite small, but I don't know whether you wanted to have nowadays probably the second reception room which we've just been in. I would probably turn that into one wonderful living kitchen. Now there's no electricity in this house and so I apologize if it gets a little bit dark for a moment. Now this is the kitchen and I immediately can see some 1970s tiles which I love <laughs> and um, yeah it's, it, it, it's it basically it is a 1970s kitchen so there is lot of, not a lot of space within it. I, you know, I mean, this house needs restoration, but uh, I think that there is a good possibility that one could make a wonderful home here. Yeah, that really does. Uh... No, I would absolutely put the kitchen in the front room with the view of Ischia and I would use this as my laundry room and my storage area and everything else and I would have a sink in here yeah and that would just be absolutely perfect and I would make a whopping great big living kitchen okay we're going to walk down into the hallway and then we're going to go into the first bedroom, which is the half bedroom. They have bunk beds in it. It's not very big. Um, it's almost a cubby hole. You know, you've got a window and you've got a bunk bed. And that's about it. I suppose for young children, that's the only real thing they need. I have no idea what that noise is. If you can hear it just in the background. Coming forward, I'm going to step into bedroom one. It's a double room and it has a very lovely window just overlooking your own private garden. Let's go down and just put the camera out there so the camera will adjust. Yeah, I think that's lovely. And then you've got a little secret terrace at the back. Yeah, it's... <laughs> You know, your little bit of paradise on Capri. It really is just absolutely charming and wonderful and, and just gorgeous and everything else which Capri has to offer. Okay, so I'm going to come around here and give you the return. Now, again, there's not a lot of space in this room. And I think that I would probably want to change the bed around and then probably make some built-in closets. Coming back out into the hallway. Now, I know you might say that these rooms are too small, but really, I mean, the price of property in Capri is jolly expensive. Now, that is a very nice wardrobe. Can you imagine bringing 
everything up by hand. It is incredible actually, isn't it? Just to the left of me now, I've got lots of building cupboards all the way down this room or hallway. I can see old radiators, so there must be a gas boiler somewhere. And then as we come down further, we go into bathroom one and you have basically white tiles on the floor. There is a little bit of water infiltration coming from a flat roof and that needs to be looked at. I'm gonna pull up and show you that. I know, uh, nobody scream, please. It's building work, it really is, you know, but where do you find these houses? Especially where do you find them on Capri? <laughs> You don't, you really don't, but I think it's just so hard to find, you know, those two reception rooms. I really do. And I've been coming to Capri now for about 25 years, oh, if not longer. And then as we come back and then you can see going back down to the hallway and we are going to go into bedroom three, which is in my view, the principal bedroom. It's the bigger room out of the three bedrooms. Again, it needs some work doing to it. You've got a door leading out and we're going to go out there in a second, but I just want to get into the back of the property and show you the bathroom. You will need new tiles. Um, it doesn't have a bidet, but it has a sink. And if we go in there, you've got a nice alcove with a shower on the right hand side and that needs to be updated as well. And you do have some very nice 70s toothbrush holders. Oh, it does have a bidet. It's just next to the shower. Oh, that's good. I like this room is curved on the backboard. I think you do really something quite fabulous in there. How high is the ceiling? Oh. Oh, I'm going forward. Oh, and it's domed as well. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, I think that could be charming. And I can hear the thunder in the background. It's quite a humid day today. Okay, let's, uh, let's slowly just move the camera around and we can get out of this door into your secret garden area. I really do love these radiators. I just want to show you those. I really think they're really fantastic. I haven't seen that design before. And it's basically, it's normally ribbed. Oh, it's got a central rib only in one. Oh, I think they're great. Right, I would certainly want to restore those. No point buying new ones. And then we're going to step outside into this beautiful courtyard. It really is beautiful. Oh, it looks like the uh, storm is going to pass us by, as it does on many of these occasions when you're on an island. It's still pretty dark. Right, I'm going to pop inside and sit down and give you all the information. Ooh, well, I feel I'm on the naughty step. <laughs> what an amazing house. I have lived on Capri myself, and I will tell you now, it is very difficult to find these houses which haven't been restored. It really is, trust me. Um, I want to give a big thanks to Augusto Castellano, um, who's right here. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay, and he has a great agency, and it's called House in Capri. I will put a link in the description below and he's now going to be my new best friend. It is just fantastic. I mean, when you come in, it's basically these two beautiful rooms. I mean, I know there's a storm coming right now. It's 125 square meters net. So add another 20 square meters or 20%, I should say, on top of that. The garden area is 200 square meters and you've got this beautiful terrace, but what is so incredible about it is Outside these windows, you've got this terrace which looks directly at Ischia and you'll be able to have your aperitivo 
as the sun sets behind Ischia, it's beautiful. The piazza is about 20 minutes away. I know it needs work. I really do. I know it needs work. Two bedrooms, uh, sorry, three bedrooms or two and a half bedrooms, two bathrooms, the kitchen, I will certainly move and put it in that room and you will have this just wonderful, entertaining space. I don't really need that kitchen in there. I need to have fun. It's just incredible. Sunset views, it's just fantastic. This building was built in 1905. It's an original building on Capri. Now, price-wise, as I said to you, I've lived on Capri. Prices here are some of the most expensive in the world. You're ranging from 10 to 15 to 20,000 euros a square meter. Now, this property is on the market at this moment in time for 800,000 euros with a little bit of wiggle room. So if you're looking for something in Capri, which is original, which has style and charm, maybe this is it. My name is Nick Veranda. These are my Italian one take property tours. Thank you so much for coming on this tour. I just, I've been searching for houses like this. I really do love doing them and I hope you enjoyed this as well. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push those buttons and that would help me so I could help you. Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Ciao.